So in this video, we are going to see how to install Linux on the VirtualBox. In the previous video, we had already seen how to create a machine that will be suitable for our Linux installation purpose. So depending upon your choice, you need to download the ISO image of that Linux distribution. So I have decided to go ahead with Linux Mint. This is based on Ubuntu. So whenever there is a new release of Ubuntu Linux, Linux Mint also comes up. So this 21.1 is the latest one and you can download it from here. Here in the download, you'll find that it has a cinnamon mate and XFC edition. These are the, uh, you can say the desktops and the functionality that will be provided by the graphical interface based on that. So you can have a cinnamon desktop mate or xfc i have decided to download this and here in the download page when you select this you come to this point and here you have a long list of different servers from where you can download it okay so we'll pause the video and we will download it once the download is done we will continue okay so my download is completed. I have used a utility called as wget to get this downloaded. And my, you can see ISO image is now downloaded. It's around 2.5 GB. So this is downloaded. Now, before we can proceed, you need to verify the integrity of this, whether this download, a downloaded image is downloaded properly or not, or it got corrupted or something. So here there is something you can see integrity and authentic and authenticity and there is something called as checksum so if you open this checksum you will find the sha 256 sum for your image now depending upon what operating system you are using you can use different tools on linux i can just verify this on the command line by simply saying uh, sha 256 sum of this Linux Mint ISO and in a moment it will get generated. This is a 2 GB file, so it could take a bit of time. And let's wait for it. Now the simple thing is whatever number that gets generated, the sum that gets generated over here should match this value. Now rather than going into the complete one, I would roughly check the first few values. 6 FEA 22, which is 6 FEA 22, and the last few values FA 8P and FA 8P. So, if there would have been a variation, this will completely change. Okay, so if you don't have a utility, you can download GTK hash, and here it will also do the same thing for you but with a graphical interface. Fine, so this is available for different operating systems, you can download it. And you can see the interface that is being shown over here of GTK hash is basically you take the file and it will generate the hash for that file. And then you can verify it with the hash that is provided by the uh, website from where you downloaded it. So once this is verified, we can be happy that our downloaded file is in a good condition. This takes us to the next step where we will start installing the operating system. So let's get started with the installation. Our machine is ready. Now first thing that you need to do is load the optical drive with the disk image. So if you have downloaded something, you can select that. Here it is showing one from my existing one otherwise you could go to add and you could select that ISO image wherever you have downloaded so I'll select that open same selecting the same thing and we will say choose now this is that my machine is now loaded with the ISO image and we are ready to boot with this so we'll start the machine and with this the machine will boot from the ISO image. So it says start Linux Mint and here we will start that.
So for understanding right now I am putting it on zoom mode. Okay, so here our basic Linux has started in that virtual machine and now we will start the installation process where it says install Linux. Okay, so we'll double click on this and this will start our installation process. Here our installation process has started. It is asking me in which language we want to install. We will stick to English. This is the keyboard selection. It is asking me what keyboard type you have. It detects automatically. You could test for some special symbols if they are showing up. You can assume it is correct. Otherwise, you can go ahead with the detect key keyboard layout utility. Install multimedia codecs. These are the codecs that you require for audio video. We'll select that. Okay, so here it says this computer has no detected operating system. What would you like to do? You will get different options based on if something is installed on your computer and all. So this is our virtual machine. There is nothing in this. So we could simply say erase disk and install Linux Mint. Though for installing Linux, uh, it is advised that we should create certain partitions based on usage and other things. But for this particular purpose, we are just going to stick to this normal installation. I will be discussing about partition and other things in some other video. So here it says what changes are going to be made to our disk. It will format and start installing. We will continue on this. Now it is asking me for the time zone. So you can select your time zone. It has selected Asia, Kolkata. Right now you can select according to your requirement. Now here I have to set up my username. Now in case of Ubuntu, Mint and other things, the first user is give, given pseudo administrative privileges. That means the same password can be used for administrative tasks. So make sure you give a good password on an actual setup and all and don't share that password with others. So this is my name. This will be the machine name. You can have a different login name if you want. Give a password over here. Okay, so here it says requires my password to login. We'll leave it as it is. You, for ease of use, you could keep it to login automatically, but will not do that. So now the installation has started. It will copy the files and other things. And this is going to take some time. We'll pause the video over here. Okay, so here you can see the installation part is completed. It is saying do you want to continue testing or you can restart it now. So we could try out this, but we will say restart now. Okay. So here it says, please remove the installation medium and we press enter. So here our system is rebooting now. So here our system has started. We can log in into this. So as you can see, our Linux is now installed. The only thing is this is still showing in a smaller resolution. So before we finish off, let's just go to view virtual screen to 100% size. And now what we will do is we will go to display settings and here I will set it to the native resolution HD or whatever is supported by your screen. Okay, so here we have this we'll apply 
and now our machine is in full resolution the only issue is since my native resolution is same and this is same so there are scroll bars for this this thing the virtual OS which is running so you could put this in full screen so you could go to this and put it in full screen the shortcut is host F and host is right control in my case fine so I will say switch and now you can see this is running in full screen my virtual machine and if I press control right control and F I can switch back to the normal window and once your work is done you can simply shut down this machine so we'll shut it down and here we are back to our virtual box and our virtual machine is ready for further work